Imagine waking up one morning, reaching out for a computer, turning it on, and then you see a screenshot that says your computer has been locked, and except you pay a particular amount, you won't gain access again. Welcome to the world of one of the most dreaded form of cyber attacks, because it can actually cause havoc to a single system or network of systems. According to Trend Micro, ransomware is a type of malware that prevents or limits users from accessing their system either by locking the screen or by locking the user's files unless a ransom is paid. More modern ransomware families collectively categorized as crypto ransomware encrypt certain file types on infected systems and forces users to pay the ransom through certain online payment methods to get a decrypt key. In a security report by Hemdal, there are two major types of ransomware. The first one is called encrypting ransomware. It incorporates advanced encryption algorithms. It's designed to block system files and demand payment to provide the victim with the key that can decrypt the blocked content. Examples include CryptoLocker, LockKey, CryptoWall and more. Then the other is Locker Ransomware. This locks the victim out of the operating system, making it impossible to access the desktop and any apps or files. The files are not encrypted in this case, but the attackers still ask for a ransom to unlock the infected computer. Examples include the police-themed ransomware or WinLocker. It is believing that the first cases of ransomware infection were first seen in Russia between 2005 and 2006. It involved a ransomware variant that zipped certain file types before overwriting the original files, leaving only the password-protected zip files in the user's system. It also created a text file that acted as the ransom note, informing users that the files can be retrieved in exchange for $300. A 2015 report by Microsoft for the top 10 countries with the most ransomware detections shows that the United States takes a full half of all detections. Italy is second, followed closely by Canada, Turkey and the United Kingdom. After that, the distribution is spread across the globe. The reality is that no one is immune. Anyone or organization can be attacked. Nigeria is advancing and cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin is becoming popular. It might not be out of place to ask everyone to take some precautions while embracing new technology.